Hundreds of royal fans turned out for an historic day at Waitangi today to see the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall visit the Waitangi Treaty Grounds. It's been 25 years since any member of the royal family visited Waitangi, and the occasion brought together many politicians and leaders from the north. RNZ reporter Amy Williams and video journalist Simon Rogers were at Waitangi. Royal fans from all over the Upper North Island came to Waitangi for the most significant day in the tour. School children carrying posies, elderly and families lined the treaty grounds to get a glimpse of the royal couple. It's really exciting and it's like a once in a lifetime almost thing you get to do. Wait, what is the question again? What did you like? Why did you want to see the because it was, it would just be good to get some more history into my mind. And is it a day off school? No, we're homeschoolers. So, this so is part of the school day then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And did you come up, did they come up close to you when they walked past? Yes. Yep, we shook hands as well. And what, did you say anything or did they say anything? Well, first... He, first he asked if our hats were from Australia. <laughs> and we said we were not sure. Are you missing out on school? Yes. <laughs> Is it a day off school for today? Uh, yeah. Um, Unsanctioned. Once in a lifetime thing, so I thought I'd just, you know, take the chance. Of it sure is once in a lifetime. How close did you get to seeing the royals today? Uh, a couple of centimetres, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Prince Charles we just looking for each other's eyes and he said, where are you from? Oh, is that Originally from here, he said, and where else? Oh, there are a couple as well. <laughs> and is this the first time you've seen the Up royal? Close, like that, to able to talk to the family. Also, now we go home to tell my great grandchildren about them. Prince Charles and Camilla received an official welcome to honour the relationship between the Crown and Māori. The couple are the first royals to visit the treaty ground since the British government's expression of regret for the events of Captain Cook's first landing. Prince Charles said a few words at the meeting house. The conversations sparked by this commemoration, conversations which are sometimes difficult but necessary, will, I hope, help set a course as we journey into the years ahead. I trust that they might provide opportunities to reflect on the dual heritage of this remarkable nation and to forge a genuinely shared future for the generations to come. He presented a kurawai on loan from the UK. The kurawai has been cared for in the United Kingdom for 156 years. And it gives me particular pleasure that it can make the journey back to the land where it was created. I hope that many New Zealanders will take the opportunity to see it while it is here. Prince Charles last visited the treaty grounds in 1994. Today he and Camilla planted a tree and walked through the Museum of Waitangi. The royal couple are halfway through a one-week tour of the country that takes in Auckland, the Bay of Islands, Christchurch and Kaikoura. After visiting Waitangi, Charles and Camilla headed separate ways to visit two schools. Prince Charles spent some time talking to students at Queenstown Resort College's Tai Tokoro campus in Paihia, who are involved in the Prince's Trust New Zealand Enterprise programme. The programme has a focus on working with young Māori students and has a partnership with Air New Zealand to provide scholarships. He just asked like what the plan was, what I wanted to do. So I want to do like a mobile food truck. The main parts of it would be um, crepes and coffee. And once I said coffee, it was like, oh my God, like ask these questions about that. After meeting students at the college, Prince Charles nipped across the road to Pai here Fire Station to meet the volunteer crew. People waited outside for their chance to meet the Prince of Wales. Meanwhile, the Duchess visited Kiri Kiri Primary School, where she met students and learned about the Enviro Schools program, which encourages children to design and lead sustainability projects in their local community. 
tomorrow the royal couple will take a break before jetting off to Christchurch on Friday to see firsthand the regeneration of the garden city since the 2011 earthquake. They finished their tour in Kaikoura on Saturday. For Checkpoint, Amy Williams.